Hey guys, it's Anthony Bandiero here, attorney and senior legal instructor for Blue to Gold Law Enforcement Training, bringing you to the roadside chat from the studio. All right, let's uh, start here. So the question comes from an officer in Illinois, and she's she asks, can you transport a DUI suspect somewhere else for field sobriety tests? And I have your answer. The answer is, if you do not have consent and you just do it and you order the person to go somewhere else and you drive them somewhere else, that is going to likely be considered an arrest. Now, if it's an arrest, okay. The first question is, is do you have probable cause? If you move this, the person, you have probable cause, then it's not an invalid arrest. It's, it's, it's called a de facto arrest, an arrest in fact. But then the next issue that's going to come up for you is Miranda issues. Because if you did arrest them, because most courts will believe that involuntary transportation equals an arrest, because most people think that they've been formally arrested. Now, if you bring them, let's say, to the station house, because it's snowing outside, and you start asking them questions again about, okay, confirm how much you had to drink. Well, I know I told you two, but really it was four. And all these other things and any, any other testimonial type uh, uh, answers will likely be suppressed unless you have Miranda. But most cops are not reading Miranda while they're doing field interviews and so forth. And so that's the answer. Now, the way around this is to seek the person's consent if you have a good reason. Let's say that it's snowing out and you don't want to, or you're on an incline, decline. It's not a, uh, there's no flat service in the area to do field sobriety tests. So you want to ask them, hey, do you want to go to the station or do you want to go to the firehouse and on a flat service and have a better opportunity to perform these tests satisfactory? Do you want to do that? And if they say yes, then argue that, they, you know, articulate that the person gave you free and voluntary consent to move the traffic stop essentially to the fire station or the police department. But if they say no, they do not want to move, then basically I would treat that as a refusal to do the, the tests and go from there. And the question would be, okay, if you can't do the tests on the location where you're at, then I would try to figure out whether or not I had probable cause. If you have probable cause, then if it was me, I would just make the arrest and go from there. If I don't have probable cause, then I'm gonna have to look at, look at some other options, right? But that's the deal here. So there's not a lot of cases on this issue. I'm actually surprised because I think it happens more often than, than, than we talk about, that cops are basically you know, moving people around and driving. I mean, we're not, and we're, remember what we're talking about here, we're not talking about you know, stopping somebody in, you know, on the, on the side of the street and there's a, there's a parking lot, you know, a uh, hundred feet over there and moving the investigation over to that, that, that parking lot. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about essentially putting people in your police car and driving them to a new location. And the courts will likely say that that is an arrest. And if you don't have probable cause, you have the fruit of the poisonous tree. If you do have probable cause, then you should be fine, but you're going to have Miranda issues if you didn't issue Miranda. There's your answer. I hope it helps. Keep the questions coming. Now, if you want me to keep doing these, right, because these take a lot of my time, but I like doing them and I want to help cops, I'm going to ask you a favor. Hit like or comment. That lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and they'll share the videos with other people. Hit subscribe. Let's get tens of thousands of cops on this and share with your friends. Let's educate cops. Let's do constitutional policing the right way. Guys, that's all I have for you. Until next time, keep doing the great job that you are doing, and thank you. When it comes to law enforcement training, we are the gold standard. Visit bluetogold.com or call 888-579-7796 to learn more about our training, books, and free webinars. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel.